Hello everyone, my name is Kmitry Lubomor, I'm a proud member of the European SharePoint community and I'm here to present to you Visio and how you can connect processes inside of Visio. I'm currently working as a Chief SharePoint Architect Manager at Avega Norge and you can see the contact information on the screen, so if you have any questions then just contact me. Today I will just skip straight into the demo and I will show you as far as the demo on how you can actually connect processes inside Visio. So let's just jump straight into my Visio drawing. So here I open up Visio 2013 Professional. You need to have that to be able to do the drawing. So now I, all I want to do is to create a basic flow diagram. So I will just click create. And then I have already some drawings made pre-made earlier, so let's just copy those to make them more visual. Or you can, if you don't want to copy, you could have just dragged one process here and then you can just create it as you want. But for now, let's just copy the one which I'm having. I will now show you two different ways of connecting processes inside of uh, this here. So on the first one, we will create two pages, two visual drawings. So this is the first one. So let's just again go into Visio. And then we will create the second page as well. Create. And then again, we will just copy from my uh, other uh, drawing here. As you can see now, we have two pages, two drawings, two Visio files. So now all we need to do is we need to connect these two together. And to do that, we need to name this uh, page, uh, let's name it uh, for instance now main processes. Okay, and then we will go to my second drawing. And here we need to name it as the same name as sub processes, which is the same name as, sorry, we should name it measure. And here we can create a new page, we should be then, for instance, it can be define, so let's name it define, okay, let's uh, go back here, see if we, no, I don't have anything stored there, so then on this one, let's just draw put a couple of drawings in so they will actually see the difference between it and let's just type one and then just type two and it's good enough for the example so now we'll save these two drawings let's save them to let's just save them to my computer for now and I'll upload them to SharePoint later let's just put them in here Let's call it demo, demo two, one, and this one. And let's save the main page as well. File, save as. And then of course we need to go here, we need to create a shape data, so let's do just right click here and then go to data and define shape data. And then we will want to have the label here, sub process, and the value here measure, which should be exactly the same as which was creating on the second page 
for the name of the page as you can see there okay now i just click okay then we need to go to sharepoint so let's create a new page here add the page let's call this demo too demo to new maybe i have one before and here we then need to insert two web parts and we need to insert two visual web access web parts okay and let's just insert the second one as well okay so let's just open up the property window so we're just clicking here to open it up and then we need to select a visual file which we want to show in the first visual uh, web part so of course now i want to find my documents i need to upload my documents i can upload it straight here so we will just go and find the documents speaking there and there we have my two documents so we'll just upload them here that's the one let's just upload the other one straight also to be finished with it okay so then we just select the first file for the first drawing and of course you need to say that we want to expose the we wanted to expose which field from this one let's right click here again and data define shape data to make sure it's correct sub process we want to expose so we will expose that one and we click apply And of course we want to add the second drawing as well so again we select the document library and we select the second file which we just uploaded to do now is to connect these two together we just need to wait until the file has been selected so we need to click apply okay so here we see the main process and here we see the sub processes okay so let's click ok so now we need to connect these two together and the way we're doing that is we will say down here again edit web part and we will again click the arrow and connections and we want to get web drawing url and page name from the first web visual web access now it will come up a window so here we want to of course select sub process from the provider that's from the first drawing and for the second drawing we want to have the consumer field name set to page name so it will automatically select the correct page for us so now we just need to click ok And let's, let's just zoom in some here and as you can see now if i click measure if i click and define let's see if i click define i probably i forgot to okay let's just open up that file again in side here 
because of course we need to also create one extra shape data here should be also defined and should be correct so let's save it again let's go back to SharePoint Yeah, as you can see now, it's selected defined down here. If I click measure, it will show the message page, as you can see down here. But what I really don't like about this is you can see all the time the flickering on the screen. Uh, so that is kind of not the best usual user experience. So if we'll go back to my first page here, and instead of having several pages, we can add a separate page here, which is defined. Second page, and we'll add the measure. Okay, and then I will just copy from my second page the different faces which we're having here. And let's put them into the measure. And in the file, let's just create to one again one, two. And of course now I also want to have a, a back button. So let's search for a back. Yeah, the arrow. Let's take the arrow. We'll make it a little bit bigger so you can see it. I will copy it, I will put it in this page as well. So if you now on the main processes. Instead of having the defined data, we are creating a hyperlink. Then we can select a sub address. This should be the second page. Sorry, I selected the wrong, so it should be measured. Okay, and then we can define, we can also create a hyperlink which should also be going to sub address which should be defined let's click ok so if we then go on the define page we can make a hyperlink out of the back button as well and of course this one should point to our main processes so we can go back to the first page so let's do the same here hyperlink Browse, main process, okay. So if you now click save, and then we will go back to SharePoint, and let's create another page. Let's call it just the demo to, to view. <coughs> Again, we are adding our web part. Just again be the Visio web access add. Of course, you need again to connect the file. And let's upload the page. Again, let's make a copy of it and rename it so we don't get any problems. Copy, paste. So let's just call it demo one zero one. Okay, open, uploading it. Then we're adding this one to the page. And we are clicking apply. So everything is saved. And let's just click also OK. Now we are getting to show the main processes. Let's just zoom some out. If I click define, 
it refreshes the page show my sub page if i click the back button i get back and as you can see this one is a much better user experience for the end user so that's what was i was planning to show you today of course if if you take this one even further the normal thing here will be to connect on the sub page a document library which will then show the documents filtered on whatever you select inside that uh, sub page uh, the document which will be correct for that phase in the project okay that was it for today so if we just briefly jump back to the visio to my powerpoint presentation i will just click quickly say thank you for listening to me and looking at this uh, how to which is brought to you by the European SharePoint conference and of course I will create some more how-to videos when it comes to Visio so check back again uh, at the European SharePoint conference to look at my other how-to videos uh, on Visio session and so thank you everybody and of course go to our European SharePoint conference just follow the link on the screen and you will see even more how-to videos from uh, my good colleagues which I have created a lot of good how-to videos for you guys. So have a nice day and I hope to see you soon again. Bye bye.